Okay, so I played the bit of Muddy Bard and I got a card for him. And he dropped to the baby, so it's still there. Fancy a gander at our little stockpile. Show me what you got. Okay, so he doesn't have another card. This is the first time I played a second one. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent.
Stock. For someone who can craft me some armor. Gotta be top quality. Well, I've been out of 20 years now. Mastered the craft in some respects, if I do say so myself. You wish. Don't listen to her. She's been sore lately. Snorting every chance. I'm lost my swords. So, what kind of armor are we talking about? <coughs> Light, but durable. Can't constrain movement. And I gotta be able to get in it without anybody's help. That all? Sure it shouldn't be self-cleaning. And how about it wipe your arse after you take a shite in the bushes? <laughs> Comfortable, strong and light will do just fine. Ought to know one thing when it comes to armor. If it's got to be durable, it can't be light. It can. 
just needs the proper tools to make it. Tools like the folk of Clan Tordoroch use on Undvik. Joanna, I told you time and again to stay silent when I talk to customers. Shouldn't pester folk with those nonsense Skellige legends of yours. It ain't legend, and it ain't nonsense. My granddad would go to Undvik for his armor. Said Tordoroch folk made the best. Till last year, that is, when a giant ravaged their island. Inhabitants either ran off or died, but the forge should still be in one piece. Worth looking into. Say I find the tools. Will you craft the armor for me? <clears throat> On condition you bring the tools. But only then. These legends mention where the forge might be? Yes. North side of the isle, in a cave. Clan folk carved out a rock face to build it. Look for the tools next time I'm in Skellige. Take care now. How may I assist you? Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. So long. You yeah, like one. Fancy Look like you've got fancy a gander at our little stop. Show me what you got. See ya. Oh, we got us a hero. Save the common folk. Smudger might have been choking me last night. The smudger. Ghost <laughs> again. Too much hooch. That's what's choking you. Quite the work my man's got, eh? Not half bad. Brought him a bucket Spot of... Spot a cider for you? Or a bit of dry? Like to take a look.
Lord's not a baron. A bandit with sorry rabble for armed men. Watch what you say. Or what? I tell you, Now the discomfort of some hut not down to live like all for me. I had a twirling with her. They came in sight, they'll rot. My man's just as much a noble as that baron. Seeing you is. Zong. Well, uh, God's preserve. What's on your mind? Welcome money? to our shithole. Fucking uh, shit eater. Uh, uh. Ever heard of preventive art? Let's give Crow her wine, but hold on. Wouldn't mind a drink. Show me what you got. Champion. I didn't do nothing. His head would look lovely on your wall, stranger. You brave enough to give Crow Perk a Look to me like a fierce fisted fighter. Just right for our tournament. It's your chance to slap around some yokels, win some coin for the pleasure. You in? I'm ready to fight. One and all, hear this. Betting on the next brawl will begin in mere moments. The witcher will face Smithy. He'll pound his gob like he pounds hot iron ingots. <laughs> Not bad. Might be champion yet. If you're aiming to be champion of Velen, you've two still to beat. Jonah from Blackbow and a fisherman from Lindenvale. Locals call him Fish Gulper. Ruffians to a man, looters, horses on. If you're trying to win them all, you won't.
Something's not right. It's medallion seething. That stench. Damn it. What are you, Phil? Reynold, a witcher, dead end. Someone was tortured here. to death in this chair, then brought back to life somehow. Must have been them my fault. Spirit, Celandine, contents of chest, must mean this chest, got some Celandine on me, good thing, other ingredients seem in decent condition, Reynolds own recipe looks like, worth a try, all the signs scream plague maiden, but the symptoms. More likely a red miasmal. Yeah. Need to prepare. You're deaf? Time back. Might have missed something.
here to help me. Please, go. Stalagmites! Destroy them! Free me! Finally! You're here! After all these years! Spirit, a miasma. It's still here. It almost, it almost has control. Hurry, Reynold. Yes, but my strength fading. The spirit. Taking control. I trapped us in here. The salt. Wondrous. Understand? It can't escape. Hmm. Let it into an apotropaic chamber organically carved into salt. Perfect for a specter. Clever. But I... I feel it in me still. So long now. Uh, help me, brother. 
Give me the potion. To expel it at last. Been down here a while. Have any idea how long? Years. Decades. Time stands still here. Nothing ever changes, brother. Nothing. Longer than that, Reynold. Lots. Gotta understand, you should be dead by now, right? Only thing keeping your body alive is the miasma. All the more reason to end this. You can do that! The potion. Please. Found your letters. To Lambert. Was sorry to read he betrayed you. Can't help thinking the miasmal would have bowed before the strength of two witchers. I was a fool, but what's past is past. Lambert, the snake, never deserved my trust. I'll be sure to pass the message along when I see him. Though your friend, believe Osmond was his name. You dare mock me? No. Just got the sneaking suspicion I'm not talking to Reynold right now. Not half bad, your ruse. But don't take me for a fool. But don't you understand? It will take control of me. It will kill you and all those you... you... No! Destroy it! Drink the potion! Finish what I... What I started! Oh, I will, Reynold. Just hold on a little longer. died centuries ago. Bonnie didn't decompose, though. Likely slowed by the miasma. Strange. Never seen armor like this before. And the medallion. A wolf's head, but flat. Ah. Uh, Osman finally sent someone. Seems the gods remember this damned veil after all. And you... You have my thanks. I can't believe it's gone. There were moments when I didn't know if I was me or the miasma. Maybe I was both. Maybe neither. No need for thanks. Should mention, though, wasn't Osmond who sent me. Priest of the Eternal Fire did. Who are you, exactly? Got a wolf's head medallion, but it's strange. Looks nothing like mine. Strange how? Designed and forged it myself. Like all witchers at Care Morin. Quite the craftsman. Not me, though. Got mine from my mentor. Like all witchers at Care Morin do. Must have been different in your day. Speaking of... When exactly did you arrive here in this mine? Hmm. It was... 970... Or no, 
80. I... I can't recall. I, damn memories are foggy. Fractured. Reynold, that's more than 300 years past. 300? No. No! They'd have sent another to find me after five. Ten at most. Osman himself would have come. I'm sorry. My asthma got lucky you showed, not some mere mortal. Witcher's immunity meant it could possess you without destroying your body. A cruel irony. I had to focus all my strength to prevent it from escaping. Till I locked us in this prison of salt, that is. Before that, it possessed the sick. Quickly corrupted. Deformed them. Turned them into the undying dead. Feral and mindless. All those voices, torches, wasn't you, was it? You gotta ask. The miasmal aimed to lure you here. I was too weak to even notice your presence. At least at first. How did it happen that you came to be trapped with the miasma? Those cultists hired me to expel it. First sign I might become possessed, though. They panicked. Sealed me in here without a second thought. Could have sent an exorcist. Or... Or called for another witcher. Anything. And those poor souls whose bones litter the mine. All forsaken for the glory of the eternal fire. Mm hmm. I saw. Miasma tried to impersonate a witcher earlier. You the real Reynold? How can I be sure? Ask me something only a wolf could know. Come on, let's get this over with. Sure, you're from the school of the wolf? Your armor. Can't say there's no resemblance, but the color? Studs, vertical stripes? Back at Kaer Morin, they'd always toss gear my way. Whatever you touch turns to gold, they'd say. This particular suit, I refined on the path. It's supposed to be a prototype for the whole school. Till my time ran out. On your own? No workshop? Missed your calling, sounds like. Could have made a name for yourself as a fine armorer, or at least a tailor. Osmond had ideas of his own, for improvements. Scribbled them down. We were gonna discuss them when we met at Kermoran. I'd like to believe you, really. Got any proof? Search my corpse. Left-hand pocket of the tunic. Diagrams are there, and yours to keep. You're free of the Spectre, but you seem agitated. Need to make sure you'll find lasting peace. <laughs> mean to prevent me from becoming what we hunt. Well... Still got a matter I need to settle. Be a brother. Help me. Then I'll find peace. Could also cremate your body on a pyre as the guild ordains. You'd see me leave this world burdened with pain and regret. This is the fate you wish for me, wolf brother. A priest sent you, or so you said. Bring him here. I'd like a word. For my peace of mind. Why? Aim to have a theological debate? What'll a few words change? Let it go, Reynold. No. 
Aim to look him in the eyes. Ask him how his religion looks upon those who condemn a man to death and damnation. This kid, he's got no ties to the clerics who sealed you in here centuries ago. Can you offer me them in his stead? No. <laughs> Thought not. So be it. But a few words, nothing more. Your tone. Understandable, but unwarranted. No bad intentions on my part. And even if there were, you'd be here to protect him, right? Fine. I'll get you the priest. I failed to fathom! How could they let this happen? The bodies, the blood, so much blood. I... Uh, I had no idea. Ray... Reynold... I know of the horror you suffered. I thought perhaps I could help. But how does one make amends for such a tragedy? A humble deacon like me. Deacon, Hierarch, you're all the same. Eternal fire accepts two types into their fold. Criminals and hypocrites. Found the remains of a priest down here. Clearly chose to stay, didn't abandon the sick in their time of need. Is he a criminal? A hypocrite? Mm, and who sealed him inside? Ghouls? Trolls? To red miasmal itself? No. The very same church of the eternal fucking fire. Reynolds got it right. Devil's Pit is the work of your church. Huh. Eternal fire gave rise to suffering so great, a miasmal, a plague specter, was born from it. Hear that, cleric. Fault is yours. Yours and anyone's who worships that damned flame. But I... I Witcher! I... I thought you'd help me! They've tried to kill me, your ilk, your brethren. Last example was the priest I caught trading in Fistac. Yes, as the prior says, he says, Dor confound it. I've hung on their every word my whole life, but but now, knowing of this travesty. The church must protect the weak. Foster hope. Yet what I've witnessed here is. What shall I do? Where shall I go? <laughs> what shall I do? Where shall I go? <laughs> this about you? Are you the victim? You're a hero. Prevented a catastrophe. Time to come to terms with your fate. What do you want? What do you need to do that? Ha! Ah, a hero. Used to care about the greater good. Young. Ambitious. The will to fight burns strong in me. Now... Now I'm just tired. Don't have the strength, no desire, to philosophize. And I won't rejoice about the world's salvation. Time took that from me. You may lack the will to fight, but I know one who doesn't. Don't need a church at your back to do good. Can do that on your own. Aye. True. So right, witch... uh... Witches. I shan't be returning to Novigrad. I'll stay here. Transform this place. Create a haven for the afflicted, true to its name. I enrolled at the seminary to serve folk, not the church. What am I doing? 
Resisted or read my asthma for centuries, damn it. Now I can't find the strength to forgive this boy. As if hatred kept me sane all these years. Maybe it did, but that was then. What matters is your choice now. Your sacrifice was not in vain, sir. The church is my home no more. This tomb I will transform into a sanctuary for the living. Dedicated in your name, good witcher. Made a difference here, Reynold. For him and many more. Ha. <laughs> I'm sure another name would suit it better. I'm no saint, no miracle worker. Just a witcher. And I'd rather it stayed that way. We're done here. Time we were on our way. By the eternal fire! I must think! No! I know what I must do. Yet, to cast aside these twenty years, what I learned of the world... Here! Your reward, Witcher. Give my thanks for, uh, uh, for your help. Might not need to cast it all aside. Not entirely. There was wisdom in some of what you recited. Perhaps. Yes. Perhaps I've yet to find the Eternal Fire's true light. Perhaps I must seek it elsewhere. Farewell, former Deacon. And good luck with your search. Now to find Osman's scribblings, the ones Reynold mentioned. Could complete the armor then. Worth a look around next time I'm at Kaer Morin.
I'm staying here. Maybe I'll spot Hannah. Looking for a hunter named Neelan. Found him. What do you want? Hear about your notice. I'm a witcher. When do you last see your wife? Five well, days passed. Before dawn. On my way out to hunt, she were asleep. I come back. I have no sign of her. Maybe she went to the neighboring village, forgot to tell you. No. My sister were never gone this long before. Tried looking for her? Asked around the village, none saw her go. She must have left when they were still sleeping. Told her time and again not to wander off on her own. She never listened. I must have some menfolk to scour the woods. Nothing. I'll look in the woods. You might have missed something. Ask around, too. She have any friends? Hannah kept... keeps to herself, mostly. Watches the blacksmith's youngins at times. And in the village, Glenna, the butcher's wife, she likes her best. Thanks. I'll try to find her, but no promises. <laughs>